Okay. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharifa. I think you guys are getting used to seeing me in the car and we'll be doing more questions in the car. So what am I doing in the car? Um <clears throat> I started up a little business. So it's like um delivering food. I think you call it food deliveries. Not for Uber Eats, it's for new company. Um it's called Menular. But anyway, I'm just gonna do some um a QA from you guys questions or they are called the most um i think they're called most asked american questions but i don't know why i should be doing i should be doing like most asked um either african or australian questions because i fall in those two categories one i live in australia i'm from africa so maybe i should do like un uh what do you call them us african Q&A but anyway let's jump into this Q&A and see how we go where is the thing up it's right there I'm just gonna go question number one what would you cook if someone asked you to cook something tasty oh something tasty hmm that's a big one I like food but I don't like cooking but my favorite cook my favorite food to cook is a shepherd's pie so it's like i don't know yeah it's a shepherd's pie i don't know if you guys know what a shepherd's pie is or oh, it's kind of cooked like in a way of um, a, sh a pie but it's like meat and um what do you call it uh, i was gonna say yeah potatoes not sweet potatoes potatoes all right um If you were to choose to choose, if you were to choose between your sig significant other and twenty million dollars, what would you do? So okay, so if I was to choose, um, so I think I'll take the twenty million dollars. Yeah, no questions. If you guys want to, you know, I don't know what you guys would do, but that's what I'll do. I'll take the twenty million dollars because it's too much. Um. My sleeping pattern is not a sleeping pattern anymore. Uh, it's a freestyle. Yes, it is. Because, uh, like, let's say this, like, three months ago before the virus started, all right? Um, I just don't like to say. I, I know a lot of people just don't want to mention about it because they'll freak out. But before the virus started, I had a job where I actually quit. I quit the job because A, B, C, D. I won't get into that. But so i quit the job while the virus is happening and the virus has n had nothing to influence me about my quitting of my job i just it just got to me anyway so let's go back to my sleeping patterns before when i st when i was still working i would start work at six finish at two or start at two finish at ten start at ten finish at six that kind of roster because i was um an essential worker so um Right now, I've just got a new job that I'm starting in the next two days. Actually, I'm starting tomorrow, not two days. I was thinking it's Monday. Um, I'm starting tomorrow, and um, things are going to be changing. You know, we're working with other new people. Obviously, things change around, so that is that. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to be sleeping. I don't know, you know, what patterns I'm going to have to change, but before I... When I quit my job, actually sleeping has not been a problem to me at all because I've been still been going to bed at 8, I wake up at 11, but before that when I had a job, if I slept at 8, I would wake up at like 5.30, so I would go to work, and now, so the virus is not that bad, okay. The, apart from it taking lives, that's horrible and everything like that, but can I say two good things the virus has brought? One. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, right? And I was doing a phone consultation. It took me five minutes. Jesus! Before you used to go to my doctor's, he's he's one of the biggest. So I'm just gonna say he's one of the good ones in my area. And it will take you about let's say your your appointment it takes you pretty much an hour and a half to see him. Although your appointment was an hour and a half early. So he's that busy and he like I don't know 
a lot of people that he's working with, he's worked with for like 20, 40 something, 50 years. Um, he's really good at what he does, so I'm not complaining, but it's, laugh has never been really good like this. I had to go do my first aid and CPR for all um, people who work in the healthcare department. You know that you need those things. Or if you don't also work there, but you need it for your job. You guys know that, you know, first aid and CPR normally take a, a whole day, like eight hours of studying. I went to renew mine and it only took 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes. How good is that? I was just wishing every time I had to renew anything, we would get the virus, you know. Uh, it was just so good to get off the phone with my doctor for five minutes. He called in time, five minutes, done. So, that's it. And the other thing, I live near the hospital. Uh, the ambulance has not been going off as much. That's because there is not too many, on, too many people on the road. So that's also a good thing. So we've not had too many accidents happening because people are keeping themselves at home. Although... On, um, on the negative side, I think family violence has gone up. Um, crime rates have gone down at this point in time. Um, the birth rate in the next six to eight months is going to go storm up. So, you know, people in the midwifery department, you guys should be warming up for that time to come if you think you need a vacation i think it's high time you apply now for the next seven to six months so if those kids are coming in you're like yeah at least i'm going on vacation doesn't matter um all right so let's get back to these questions what's the funniest thing you saw on the internet today um i'm actually i'm so i'm personally so funny that when people do like funny stuff they expect me to laugh but because i'm just i'm naturally funny myself it just i'm just like yeah but i do that every day yeah but i saw um a little kid dancing yeah it's it was just so funny because i don't know it was a little kid i guess but i'm normally yeah i'm not i'm, I'm not easily impressed i would say that Ha! Huh. This is a good question. What would you like to experience again for the first time? Hmm. So I've been on a plane once. I've been on a plane once and it was going from Africa to Australia. It's a 29 hour flight. I don't think I want that again. What would I like to experience again? I think I would like to go... Um, to like the gold coast not to a vacation and have some fun um yeah for the first time and just enjoy the water the breeze how friendly people are actually like in my place where we live people are nice but they're not very nice have you ever like have you ever imagined when you go to places where there is a lot of tourism um people are really really nice like they're just usually nice because you know every time they see new people so they don't hold grudges it's like hey hello how you going you know that kind of thing so i really do feel like i want to go back to the gold coast because when i was there people were really friendly but at the moment because um because of the virus you can't really go and now that i'm starting a new job it's gonna be like oh i'm gonna have to concentrate for like a full year before i think of holidays you know but other than that, I'm so happy with all the changes. I'm loving it. All right. What mistake don't define you? So basically, when people talk about mistakes, you know, people always get upset. Like, you know how people make mistakes and get upset over it? I just go to... I've made so many mistakes. Like, I make so many mistakes in my life. I do. I think I am like a more than average normal within the last six months i've caused three accidents and i have to pay like my insurance premiums are like uh two thousand dollars so i've had to pay like six grand in the last six months but i'm not i'm just like okay why what am i what is my excuse for that it's like it's a learning curve you know every time you make a mistake just think of it it had to happen you know i had to learn something from it so i'll give you an example like the last accident i had 
I had it with a young guy who was actually, um, who was 24 and he started crying but we'll leave that for story time so after this video i think i'll do a, st a story time about it because i love i don't like accidents but you know when they cause they cause and i do feel like mistakes that i've done did not they do impact on my life but they also impact on the decisions i'm gonna make tomorrow if i did not mistake make the mistakes i made yesterday today i would be really you know not me because they impact the decisions i make now because i've been through it and i'm like okay when i do that i'll try that and the more every time you do something wrong it just gives you another way how to do things in either a wrong way or in the right way so you have more ways to do it either in the wrong way or in the right way so you've just tried it more than normal um do you think people's mm, i won't answer that i'm not i'm not kind of a relationship kind of person but you know I, I i would just not comment tell us the funniest text you've got into your dms so the funniest text i've got from my dms this person um <clears throat> i just this uh this person sent me has sent me like you know um a lot of things going hey can we be friends i'm like mate you're texting me we are friends that's it like i don't know what people mean by friends so we're already friends you're my mate that's it communication you'll be so lucky if i message you like that's it so if i message you hmm, and i message you back we're friends that's it that's what defines friends to me anyway so i message you back we're friends that's it um okay um If I was elected as president, oh my god, this is a good question. If I was elected as a president, what would I do on my first day in the office? Hmm. You know, we all have dreams, but sometimes we just don't think about, you know, all the... We always say, oh, um, can you imagine being Donald Trump? Can you imagine being Barack Obama, can you imagine being Kim Jong-un, can you imagine being Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister of Australia, you know, at the end of the day when I look at those guys, I go, yeah, people think or people say, and this is me not being biased, this is me just making, you know, a normal sentence that everyone I think should make, those people being presidents, um, prime ministers, uh, parliamentarians, they're everyday people like me. So before I even start judging them, I just, you know, we always have to think, what if it was me, mate? What if it was me? So they're funny, they're crazy, they make stupid decisions. As we say, they're stupid decisions. But at the end of the day, they make those decisions. They also have to put they don't have to put themselves first as you do and you go oh today i want to eat chips you have the decision to eat chips but if the president says oh, i'll eat chips today he has to go oh yeah but instead of going to marcus i would rather you know get the person to bring me chips to serve the time because i have meetings that will serve the world so yeah if i was put into president in the um I, if i was elected as president what would i do uh I think I would take my mum for a ride in like a private plane. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. I w I'm staring at those people. I just won't tell you what they're doing because it's crazy. Um, I I was just driving on the road, that's my story, so before I was just driving on the road and there is a new police station, like a new police, uh, what do they call it, facility right there and yeah it's just impressive like, um, although I'm just gonna say this, this, uh, this side of town that I'm at is not my side of town because uh, my side of town there is not too much crime and things like that. So, um, yeah, I was just impressed that they've just put it there. So I'm just like, okay, cool. You guys just do you. Um, so I'm going to end this here and I'm just going to do a story time. Um, 
um, about when I got these accidents and what happened. Anyway, so if you guys like the video, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you don't, that's also fine. I would really encourage you guys to watch the video and finish it. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. You'd like me for me or you don't like me at all. That's it. Um, like, I'm not here to persuade you to watch my content. No. You want to watch it? Watch it. You don't want to watch it? You know, skip to the person you want to watch. At the end of the day, it's your decision, not mine. So, it's Sharifa signing out. Thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.